with you. Today, we are going to get our bodies moving using Fitbits from the Healthy Schools, Healthy Communities curriculum, developed by the Michigan Fitness Foundation. Today's Fitbit, we're still gonna be active, but we're gonna focus on something a little different. We're gonna focus on these, our hands. We're going to learn how to wash our hands and when to wash our hands with the Fitbit, when should I wash? We want to make sure that when we wash our hands, we use all of the right things. We want to use warm water. We want to use soap. We want to make sure we're scrubbing for 20 seconds. We're rinsing, turning off the water with a paper towel, and drying our hands with a paper towel. It's important for us to wash our hands that the right way and often. Why do you think it's important to wash your hands? Let's think about that. We want to wash our hands to make sure that we don't spread germs. We want to make sure that we stay nice and healthy, and that's the best way. I am going to read a few sentences. You are going to listen and try to fill in the end of the sentence. We all should wash our hands. Before we touch, prepare, or eat, let me hear you, food. We always want to make sure that we wash our hands before we touch, prepare, or eat food. We should all wash our hands after we use the, I heard a few of you, you're right, the bathroom. We always want to make sure that we wash our hands after the bathroom. We all should wash our hands when we have a cold and you either, let me give you a hint on that one, huh? Choo! <coughs> You're right, cough or sneeze. We always want to make sure we wash our hands after we cough or sneeze. And here is one that we might not know. We always want to wash our hands after we touch any sort of animal. If it's a frog outside you catch, or even if it's your own dog, we still want to make sure that we wash our hands after pet touching pets. We also want to make sure that we wash our hands after handling dirty things like, let's think of we, let's think of something dirty in our house. You're right, the trash. If we throw something away, we want to make sure we wash our hands. And here's another one. After we play, where am I? Outside. We want to make sure that we wash our hands after playing outside. To wash our hands correctly, I'm going to let my friend the frog hold on to my book. We want to make sure we turn on the warm water, we get our hands wet, we pump some soap into our hands, and we scrub our fingers for 20 seconds. This is what it feels like for 20 seconds. So we are going to wash those hands with soap in between our fingers, on top of the backs of our hands, all around our fingernails, because dirt likes to be there, and our wrists. That was 20 seconds, my friends. Did it feel like a little bit of time? After we wash our hands for 20 seconds, we're going to rinse them off and dry them with a paper towel. 20 seconds can sometimes feel like a long time, but it helps us keep healthy. Now we're going to play a couple of games that we are going to pretend to wash our hands for 20 seconds. Here we go. I'm going to tell you the move that we're going to make. We're going to pretend while we wash our hands. So we turn on that warm water, get our hands wet, get that soap in our hands, and now we're going to try to hop on one foot for 20 seconds while washing our hands. Here we go. If you have a hard time hopping on one foot, you can use two feet. That's okay. And sometimes if you get tired on one foot, you can switch to the other. 
It's fun to practice. Three, two, one. Woo, that was 20 seconds. Let's rinse our hands up, get that paper towel, and dry them off. I think we should try some more. Let's turn on that warm water, get our hands wet, get that soap. This time, we're going to hop, but we're gonna hop back and forth from our right foot to our left foot while pretending to wash our hands. Here we go. Hop, hop, hop. You got it. Here we go, 20 seconds. Don't forget to wash your hands. Get that soap all in between your fingers. Keep going. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. Let's rinse our hands off. Get some paper towel. Dry our hands off. Nice job. But I think we can do just one more to make sure that we really remember how to wash our hands. Let's try it one more time. Turn on that warm water, get our hands wet, pump a little soap. This time, let's do calf raises. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna come up on our toes and down. Here we go, 20 seconds. Do you see how I'm getting the soap in between my hands on the backs? in between the fingers. Keep going. You're almost there. Keep going. Three, two, one. Nice job, my friends. Today, you learned how to wash your hands and you learned when to wash your hands. Keep up the great work. See you next time.